And all the little omelets hung their stockings with care, hoping a new review would soon be there. Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome to the FAD. Hello, I'm Raging Amish, and this is the FAD in Modern Warfare 3. Before anyone says it, yes, I know, the FAD is yet another gun where we can argue about the pronunciation. Some will call it the FAD, others the FOD. Personally, I call it the FAD. So you know what? Let's take a look at the official pronunciation. Fusil Automatico Doble. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the FAD. Seeing as it is Christmas time, I figured I should review a gun that reminds me of the holidays. When I see the FAD, I swear the gun looks like something out of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Take a look at the curves and the weird shapes. Every time I use the FAD, I'm waiting for Jim Carrey to go running across my screen in a green suit. Here's to a review with some Yuletide cheer. I'm not going to stall any longer, we've got a gun to review. Let's jump into the FAD. Come on while I'm young! Available at level 78, this weapon is the last assault rifle unlocked during your prestige. It's kind of a shame, really. When a gun is unlocked so late, you really won't get to use it much. But then again, that's why the devs created prestige tokens. If you really like the FAD, use a prestige token to make the gun available permanently. While the late unlock can be a pain, the fire rate is astounding. The FAD is fully automatic and clocks in at a whopping 1000 RPM. Wow. The FAD has the fastest fire rate of all assault rifles. For that matter, the FAD has a faster fire rate than most SMGs. Only the PM9 and the FMG9 shoot faster by default. The high fire rate means the FAD will chew through bullets like mad, but thankfully your mag size is big enough to handle it. This weapon is the only assault rifle to feature a 40 round mag. You also get a huge starting ammo loadout at 120 rounds to go with the big mag and fast fire rate. I like it. While everything has sounded great so far, I need to bring your expectations down to earth. Each round would do a meager 30 to 24 damage depending on the distance to your target. That means you're looking at a 4 to 5 hit kill. Headshots give the FAD a 70% damage boost. If you're accurate, the FAD will only need 2 to 3 shots for a kill. Still, despite the nice headshot bonus, the FAD has some of the weakest shots in the game. The range of the gun isn't very good either. The FAD starts to drop off at 20 meters and completely falls off at 25 meters. For an assault rifle, that's downright pathetic. To give you a comparison, the Spaz and the model have a range of 18 meters. The FAD has weak shots and poor range. You will consistently need 5 hits for a kill. What is the deal? Moving on, the FAD has a lot of features which are standard for an assault rifle. You move at 90% of the standard movement rate, have medium penetration power, medium sized assault rifle crosshairs, and low to medium idle sway. These stats keep with the assault rifle mentality. None of them are bad, but then again, none are exceptional either. In practice, one of the things you'll notice very quickly is how the FAD itself moves quite slowly. You will raise the FAD in 1.10 seconds and lower it in 0.66 seconds. That's poor for an assault rifle. Slate of Hand Pro is arguably a mandate. The ADS time, however, is good. The FAD is the only assault rifle to get a 250 millisecond aim down sight time. You don't need quick draw because the ADS time is good by default, but said perk is still a solid choice overall. While the ADS speed is fast, I can tell you right now, the reloads aren't. The FAD has the slowest reloads of any assault rifle. You'll need 3.2 seconds to reload by default, and 3.56 seconds if the mag was empty. Ugh. What is that stench? You should definitely learn how to do a reload cancel. The bullets enter the mag at the 1.5 second mark, meaning you can potentially saw off two seconds of unneeded downtime. Up next, we've got the recoil, which is very easy to manage. For starters, the recoil profile on the FAD is low. You have a value of 40 to the sides, 50 up, and 20 down. To make things even better, the recoil profile is symmetric. The gun's kick will go straight up, making the recoil very easy to predict. Ooh, sweet. The center speed, however, is mediocre at best, coming in at 1350. The difference maker when controlling the kick is certainly the recoil profile. I found the FAD to be very easy to handle, but if you're having trouble, try the kick proficiency. It'll make a difference. Finally, we have the irons, which are really weird. 
I really don't like them. Mm -mm. No, I don't. Are they usable? Sure. Do I think you should learn how to use them? Absolutely. Do they look like something from the world of Dr. Seuss? Most definitely. It's up to you if you want a site to replace the irons. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. On that note, up next are the attachments. Red dot site, holographic site. Both of these are decent fits on the FAD. The irons are a bit crude and could use an upgrade. Each site will make aiming a bit easier and clean up one of the gun's bigger weaknesses, mixing kick for your proficiency. The reduced recoil goes really well with the sight. Silencer. A little more stealth, please. When equipped, this attachment removes your red dot from enemy radar, but will lower the range of your four-hit kill. On paper and in practice, the FAD is practically designed for the silencer. You can afford to take the hit of reduced damage because the FAD has a very high fire rate. The silencer barely hurts the gun's performance since the range is poor to begin with. The silencer gives you a big advantage. Definitely consider picking this attachment. Grenade Launcher I HATE YOU! ACOG Scope Surprisingly, this attachment isn't half bad. The ACOG doubles the FAD zoom when you aim down the sight at the cost of a lowered center speed. Normally, the ACOG magnifies kick on a gun so much that I don't advise this attachment, but the FAD is an exception. Recoil isn't an issue here. You can rely on the ACOG for long range fights and use hip fire for close quarters. Go figure, the ACOG is a decent fit. Heartbeat Sensor All I can really say is, bleh. The attachment isn't horrible, but isn't great either. The FAD has a lot of choices that offer more than the heartbeat sensor. If you like the attachment, that's fine, but I would advise picking something else. Master Key Shotgun Stupid, stupid, stupid. Hybrid Sights The more I use this attachment, the more I can't make up my mind if I hate it or love it. The FAD can make good use of the hybrid sight, that's true, but I don't like how you lose so much peripheral vision when zoomed in. Personally, I prefer other attachments. Extended Mags Remember how I said the default mag size is 40 rounds? This attachment ups that to 60. That's a lot of bullets for an assault rifle. On top of that, the gun now starts out with 180 rounds by default. Extended Mags is right up there with the silencer in terms of power. This attachment removes any need for scavenger and can also free you up from needing sleight of hand. You can't go wrong with Extended Mags. Thermal Scope Loathe entirely. With the attachments wrapped up, your next need is picking the right perks. For the blue tier, I'm split between Scavenger and Slate of Hand. Either will be a good fit. Scavenger gives you much needed ammo. Your starting ammo loadout may not be enough. If you don't have extended mags, Scavenger is a solid choice. Still, I personally preferred Slate of Hand. The perk counters two of the gun's weaknesses. You get quicker reloads and quicker switch times, both of which will greatly help the FAD. As for the red tier, I say quick draw is your best choice. Your shots are weak. The sooner you get on target, the better. For your third tier, I preferred either sit rep or steady aim. Each of these perks will give you a strong chance of reacting to enemies in tight spots. Steady aim pro will greatly help you with panic hip fire, and sit rep gives you as much information about your surroundings as you can get. Either works. Last but not least, I advise using kick or two attachments for your proficiency. By default, the FAD doesn't really have all that much recoil but I did find Kick to be incredibly effective, especially if you combine this ability with a Sight. Two Attachments is another really strong choice though. I love mixing Extended Mags with a Silencer. You get everything you possibly can out of the FAD if you combine both of these attachments. To round out your class, make sure to pick a solid close quarter secondary. The FAD is good at most distances, but is kinda weak at point blank range. You will typically need four shots to kill, which is somewhat limiting. I like messing around with the Akimbo Scorpions and the G18s for those really close range battles. I would advise using Akimbo FMG9s, but people tend to have a very distinct reaction to this secondary. All in all, I have to say, I'm a big fan of the FAD. The gun walks a fine line between being an assault rifle and an SMG. If you really think about it, the FAD is Modern Warfare 3's version of the F-2000, except now the gun stands a better fighting chance. The recoil is lower, but the power is still there. We don't give the devs enough credit. Gems like the FAD are a huge part of why I love MW3. Try the gun out sometime if you haven't already. You will not regret it. That concludes this review of the FAD. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll join me next time. Until then, this is Raging Amish checking out. Merry Christmas, and for those who say I'm not being PC, Happy Holidays.